two. And now to our top story, four-month-old twins found neglected and abused inside their Smithfield home. That's according to the Isla White Sheriff's Office. They say the parents are possible suspects. Both girls are being treated at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, and that's where 10 of your side's Liz Palka is this morning. And Liz, we understand one of the baby's injuries are, considering light, are considered life-threatening. Yes, that's right, Carrie. When EMS crews were called to the home on Sunday evening, they found one baby unresponsive. They say she was malnourished, has bruises, and at the time had shortness of breath. They said the twin sister, also malnourished and appeared to be abused, had bruises on her. Now, investigators are trying to figure out what happened to these babies and who's responsible. Sheriff's deputies remove items from this Smithfield home. Bags and bags of evidence, including a golf club, were taken. Investigators served a search warrant here on Monday evening. They tell us it's the home where two four-month-old girls were found on Sunday, malnourished and bruised. One wasn't responding. It kind of gave me that I wish I'd known they needed some help. CPR was done on one of the babies. She was then flown to CHKD in the Nightingale helicopter. That's where the twins are recovering now. Yvonne Ray lives across the street from the children. As far as I knew, there was a man and a woman, and they had a girl in school because she's a school bus. No one has been arrested in this alleged abuse case. The sheriff's office says they are looking at the parents as possible suspects. I thought, my God, you know, if they'd ever ask for help. I'd seen a sign that they needed some. I would have been the first one to do it. An investigator says if the baby with life-threatening injuries dies, this could turn into a homicide investigation. No arrests have been made in this situation. Investigators also told us that there was a four-year-old child that lived in that home, and they said that she showed no signs of abuse. Now, we are working on getting the latest from on the two twins here at CHKD, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we have it. In Norfolk, Liz Palka, 10 on your side.